Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to another batch tutorial. This is Ruta Vanilla, your teacher. It's nice to meet you. I'm gonna virtually shake your hand right now. That was us virtually shaking hands. Next, <laughs> next up on Python tutorial video number like 65,100 something, um, uh, we're going to be working with the absolute value function. Now, if you guys remember back in the day from math class, absolute value is the distance a number has from zero on the number line. So it's always going to be positive. In fact, obviously, a number's, uh, like a positive number's absolute value is that same number. But if the, val if the number is negative, then it's just going to be the positive formation of that number. So it's a really, really easy thing to accomplish, especially in batch and uh, in any other programming language or scripting language, but we're going to try and set it up. Let's actually do just that. I'm going to call it my script, maybe let's say absolute value. It's a bat file as always. I'll do add echo off, and the syntax I want to have is call absolute value number that we're working with, and then obviously the return value. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother fixing that. <laughs> I'm just going to screw it up again. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. But if we're just trying to change a number to anything uh, that we'd be working with, let's let's work with that. If, let's say, uh, the first value that we pass to it, number, if that's greater, no, if it's less than zero, what we need to do is multiply that by, uh, well, let's see. Let's find out here. Set to second one that we pass in. That's going to be using some arithmetic here. We can change that to what we have here: our first val our, our number times negative one. So that will make it positive, but only if it's less than zero. And uh, that's all. That's that's really all that we're doing. All that right there. But let's actually create a new script here. I'll show you how this works. Um, how do I start scripts again? I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just getting a mind block today, I don't know. Not thinking straight? Who doesn't think straight? Who thinks in a curve? <laughs> like, I imagine like this, this, like, high, uh, no, it's called a parabola. Like, you think in a parabola? <laughs> or you, you think diagonally, you're in a curve formation? All right, that's enough. Um, let's call our absolute value function. If we call absolute value, let's change four, and um, I'll call it abs. That's pretty funny. And if we echo out the value of abs, uh, let's check it out. Hopefully, it's a hopefully it's a six pack. Dude, we have to do that. We have to change it to like number six. All right, echo is off. Wow, that's embarrassing. Uh, what do we do wrong here? Echo abs. Abs. It's not that. So we can just set. 2 to equal 2, right? I mean, we should be all set here. Oh, we just have to set it to be the number. Okay, because it's not actually created yet. All right, man, that's a good thing we saw that. So we'll throw that in an else statement, because if it's not greater than, if it's not less than 0, then it's obviously just staying positive. So we actually have to set the return type to the initial number that we were working with. So let's try this again. Uh, let me get to my command prompt here. If I clear the screen, run script, we've got four. And, uh, let's do, uh, let's do negative six so we can get a, a six pack for our abs. <laughs> nice, we get six. That's fantastic. If we just do 20, it'll understand it perfectly. If we did, like, negative 243... Uh, scripts 243. We are perfect. So that's uh, it's really simple. It's pretty easy to understand. All it is is just changing something to be positive f while it's negative and that sort of thing. So uh, let's just copy that over to our system path because that's a pretty handy utensil on the off chance we will ever need it. Absolute value. I'll put it in my list of our tools and we can hop right on over to our system 32. Plop it right in there and we should be all done. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know it was pretty quick and easy, but, you know, that's kind of the best part when you're programming. If we have all these tools and utensils that can help us out, we are in a good place. <laughs> all right. Uh, see you again, guys. Bye.